What up guys, TJ Lavin here, this is Hanging With Labs, and I have Mike the Miz Mazanin. I'm here man, I'm hanging, I'm hanging with Labs. This, this is, is it. This is my this guy. This is it. I so. have made it in life. Like, <laughs> you, you know, I've done a lot of things. Been on the challenges, been on, been on WWE, I've won the Intercontinental title, won the WWE. This is the moment. This is it for me. Thank you. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Finally made it. I finally so, made it. He's talking about Las Vegas. He's like, hey, is Las Vegas is the place to live, I heard. I was like, there's nothing better. There's no better place in the world than Las Vegas. Now, so I'm, guess what? This guy is going to be our neighbor. I don't know. I don't know. He's I've been our thinking neighbor. About it. I've been Welcome. thinking about it. No, I've been thinking <laughs> about it. I haven't thought of it yet because... I'm from Cleveland originally. I, was, I never met anybody from Ohio I didn't love. There it is. Cleveland Browns fan, Cleveland Cavaliers, Cleveland Indians, the whole thing. But I've loved living in Cleveland all my life. And then I moved to Los Angeles where it's 75 and sunny, dry heat, beautiful weather all the time. Lived there for the past 15 years. This year I was looking at my state taxes going, why do I pay so much when I'm only there two days two days a week yeah you know I'm, I'm traveling hey. all the time with WWE like what am I doing why am I there why am I paying so much money in state taxes then I was like what doesn't what state doesn't have state taxes you got huh. Nevada Texas Florida it's a three and a half hour drive to LA it is and three and a half that, hours. That, that, that's what I'm trying to figure if you out go my to speed limit. now I have to now also I have to get my wife out of there remind you Oh. Like that's that's the the negotiation here. So I'm like, listen, do I do we want to stay in Los Angeles or do we want to move to somewhere like Las Vegas, where it's one hour to get to LA if we need anything, need to do anything, we could always be there. And the amount of money we save, we can get private jets if we wanted. Yeah, private jets, right? Well, I, I imagine I imagine you, you have your fair share of private jets. <laughs> oh yeah, the, we call them PJs. PJ, oh, you know what I'm saying? Is, like, whatever, dude. You don't even go to that. What is it, McLaren? There, you go to that private one over, over down south, right? Probably right by your house, huh? Yeah, yeah. McLaren is right there. Then there's a private airport right there called Henderson. Henderson oh, it's, it's not, Henderson Executive. Oh, okay. And then there's a. Uh, Another private place too, which I've never ever set foot in what's in my the, life. What's the best thing about Las Vegas? Uh, it is very conveniently located, so it's it's for everything. I mean, you're sitting right in the middle of you're going from snowboarding, then all of a sudden I come down from snowboarding. I'm like, you know what, man? I feel like going and taking the boat out. Cool. We go to ne Lake Mead, and then we go ride surfing behind the boat in Lake Mead, and then I'm saying, man, you know what? I feel like eating the world-class food wherever I want, from wherever I want. And you have it right there. Boom. It doesn't matter where it is, what it is, you have it, 100% guarantee. It is the best city in the world. Not to mention, I won't spend any more time in traffic than I need to. Because that's true, because that's another thing with, about Los Angeles. It doesn't the even matter. The traffic is so bad. The traffic is bad, bro. It is, like it takes me about an hour and a half to get to my house from the airport every time I fly home, which so, is every week. Yeah, every so, week I'm in an hour and a half of traffic driving home. So you're flying from, you're flying, where, you're from, from your show, right? Yeah, so I go, so we'll fly from Los Angeles, LAX, and then we will fly to wherever our place is. Like we were in Omaha last week, we were in New York City. We were in New York City the week before that. Uh, we come to Vegas. We go to LA. You name it, we go all over the world. Wow, that's yeah. pretty cool. It's huh? not bad, man. I've, I've gotten to see China, Japan, uh, all over Europe, Australia, Mexico, Canada. I mean, I've been to Canada, people. How amazing is that? Dude, that's huge. How about you? You've been traveling all over the world? A little bit. A little bit? <laughs> yeah, I got it. What's like... your favorite place to go? Besides Las Vegas. Queenstown, New Zealand. Why? We're actually going to Australia next week. We're going to New Zealand next next week, actually. You are? Yeah. Literally next week I'm going to New Zealand. Really? Yeah. North or South Island? Uh, North Island, To probably. be honest, I don't even know. Okay, so you're probably going to Auckland. Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, so that's right. North Island, and it's amazing too, but... Just make sure that you catch a flight to the South Island, please. I don't Do think WWE favor. is going to allow me to say, hey, listen, guys, I know we have a show tomorrow, but I need to go to South. TJ no, no, told no. me to. After. After. Maybe. Well, then we fly all the way back and we have Monday Night Raw. So I can't. I have no time. I have no free time. So when we go to Australia, literally, it's I go and we go to New Zealand and then we have a show in Auckland. Then we fly to Melbourne. Then we go to Sydney. Then we go to Brisbane. 
and then we go to maybe Perth, and then we fly back to LA, uh, fly back to uh, San Jose because we have a show on, my, on Monday Night Raw. So oh, it's really? Like there's no there's no like playtime. It's literally we land. I go straight to media, do a bunch of promotions for WWE on uh, New Zealand, and then we do the show in Auckland. Then the next day we're in Melbourne, the next day we're in Sydney, the next day we're in Brisbane, wow. and then we fly all the way back to LA where we're in San Jose. And by the way, we fly from Anaheim, which we have a show in Anaheim, and then right after that show, we, go, we fly to Australia. So it's no time off. No rest for the wicked, my friends. You see that? You see this guy? Always working. Hard worker, man. Have to be. See, kids, take it from the Miz. All you have to do is work hard, and you can you can be successful. Yeah, and you can do it. The man. problem I find though is a lot of people always say like, "Man, I want to do what you do. I want to be, you know, I want to be on a challenge. I want to be on the real world. I want to be, you know, a WWE superstar." And I go, "Okay, well, what have you done to try to do that?" And their answer is always, "Well, nothing yet." <laughs> and I go, "Yet." Yeah. Okay, well, what if you want to do something? Why don't you go and do it? Am I right? Proceed. Is, is, like with you, like when you when you were trying to become the best at what you did, like was it was it like oh, I imagine it was hard, a lot of practice. Uh, you know, like it wasn't really fair for me. It was uh, it, you were just so talented. I just I loved it, it was so, just so much. Talented. Yeah. First of all, the talent was just there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm good. No, it was uh, it was it, the passion. That was the key. Um, the key to success for me is passion. If you don't have any passion for it, then you're not going to be good at it. If you're not going to be good at it, then you're not going to do it for a living. Exactly. So that's kind of how it works out. Like you loved wrestling. Yeah, as a kid, you were I always, always loved being it. the wrestler guy. Even when you got on the shows yeah. and whatever, whatever, you were a wrestler guy. You were like, I'm the Miz, and like, exactly. you're, you're, you know, I'm, I'm gonna elbow drop yes. you. And then all of a sudden, you became the Miz. Yeah, it's, you, it's, you, you just. Metamorphosis. And, it, thing it, and, it, and the funny part is, everyone always thinks, "Oh, you went from the real world, you went straight to the, the chat, uh, you went to the WWE." And it was like, "No, I, I literally was fighting on the independent scenes, trying to become a WWE superstar, working my ass off, like trying so hard to be a WWE superstar." And they didn't want me because I was on the real world, I was on the challenges. But after time and time progressed, I never gave up, kept going, kept going, and finally. They gave me my opportunity. I took that opportunity and swung to the fences, and it ended up working out for me. Beautiful. See, yeah. shoot for the moon. And if shoot you end up moon. by the stars, it ain't a bad place to be. Not bad at all. Nice. I agree. Very nice. Cool, man. So, what's next for you? What's next? Just being a WWE, uh, WWE has always been, you know, my passion. Right. You know, right. Being a WWE superstar, but as you get older, you start thinking, man. How long can I keep doing this? And how for? old are you? I'm 37 now. Okay. So I'm still looking at it, going, you know, I, I feel like I'm at my at my prime. I yeah. feel my body feels good, which is shocking. Even though I do get aches and pains. Do you get aches and pains now? Oh yeah. Like remember when we were in our 20s and like it was like, oh, you know, I burnt my knee, and a, and a day later it's like, oh, my knee's better. Yeah. Now dude. it's like a week. You're like, okay, I'm okay. I'm all right. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. It is crazy, man. It's crazy. But uh, well. It looks like we gotta go now. So yeah, my people are here. They're here. Oh, my dude. people. These, these are my people. They are. They're. They're doing all our uh, social media today. Oh, so well, you know. You see, there you go. See? You have your 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 camera phone. I have people that actually do it. See, mine. Mine's way. Your way. I like yours way better. <laughs> I like this way better. You don't need people. Miss, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. I can't wait till honor. you're my neighbor. I love it. It's gonna it be could good. Happen. It could Zero happen. Zero state tax. Zero. All right. Your huge promotion for uh, for Las Vegas. I, I'm going to be the mayor one day. <laughs> you should be. I'll vote for him. Huh? <laughs>